Hello again from the Degenderettes. All of the stickers are now in. And here's a quick video tutorial for how to attach them to an actual vinyl sign, as this eggshell vinyl is not quite as straightforward as a regular vinyl sticker. Okay, so the first sticker that we have is a regular vinyl sticker. This one is removable, um, just a standard sticker. It has scores on the back, like any other convenient sticker. You just fold it along the score and then pull off the backing paper. Stretch it out over the thing. These ones are the removable ones, so they do just come right off. Now let's go to the eggshell vinyl sticker that we we're so proud to produce. The rectangular ones um, that we have of these actually have an easy peel backing, so the backing paper is larger than the sticker. They're very easy to uh, separate by curling them apart. You curl like the backing paper off of the other vinyl sticker. Um, the vinyl is very fragile when it comes off, so it may want to tear. Um, just stop peeling if it starts to tear, and if it does tear all the way through, you can just put the vinyl up in several pieces. So I like to stretch mine out with two hands like this, size them up, and then just throw them down. You can reposition them without tearing them, if you're a little bit careful, um, until you actually press them down. Once you firmly press them down, they're gonna be really hard to pull off in one piece. So that's what that looks like. Now I'm gonna take my finger and press across the braille on the bottom so that the braille will come through. This braille is all still legible if you need it to be. Now for the accessories, we made a accessibility icon sticker in regular vinyl to designate um, bathrooms that have stalls that are ADA compliant. So um, these ones are regular vinyl, they have scores on the back, you just fold along the score, rip off the backing paper, and you can put these anywhere you fucking want, really. Um, you can put them like overlapping the sign or somewhere on the sign. Um, I think they're classier right next to the sign, but it's really up to you. These are removable, but hopefully no one will will bother to remove that one because it's not the, you know, offensive sign. Um, and then for those packages that are coming with Braille, um, these are the Braille labels that we made for that. These say toilets on them in Braille as opposed to, um, like this original sign says men restroom. Um, if the text on the back is right side up, then um, the Braille is upside down, so you flip it over. Um, Sorry that it's not totally intuitive, but you want the text to be upside down, the, the visual text to be upside down, and then the braille will be right set up. Um, and these just have a, a plastic backing like any other label sticker, and you can place this wherever the fuck you want. I'm just going to um, slam it over the men part. So that's what that does, and now it says uh, toilet room. And then for California's geometric sign system, which is this triangle circle thing that you see around, we made these universal stickers, which are big enough to cover the pertinent information on these larger signs. And this is also the tamper-resistant vinyl, but it's a die cut, so it doesn't have the easy peel backing that the rectangular signs have. Um, so this makes it a lot harder to peel the backing off, so I'm going to take a second to show you some techniques that we've figured out to pull the backing paper off really quickly. So the die cut on these makes it really hard to separate the vinyl and the backing paper um, because the vinyl is so fragile, even if you have like a knife handy or something like that, it's you're really liable to tear the sticker trying to separate that out. So um, after a bunch of trial and error, we have two methods to recommend to you if you're putting up these signs. Um, one of them is to slice the backing paper with a knife, um, and if I do it too uh, shallow, then when I fold it over to peel it off, um, I'm going to separate the backing paper itself and kind of get this weird um, uh, plushy thing here. Um, so I need it deeper than that, but not too deep. If I go too deep, it'll just slice the vinyl itself, which is not irreparable, you can just put the vinyl up in two pieces, but what I'm aiming for is that, so that I can just peel this off. Um, and you do have to still be careful peeling it off, because the vinyl is fragile, but there you go. Just throw that there. And then here's another method for if you're not so handy with a knife, is to use tape. Um, scotch tape, clear cut scotch tape. Um, you can use masking tape, but the masking tape will uh, not be clear. Um, and the scotch tape you can just like leave on after you've applied it. So the deal here is that you put some scotch tape over the edge of your sticker and then while it's on a flat surface you can just peel the vinyl up like so and that'll get you the rest of the way. 
Um, so once you apply this sign, I would probably just leave the scotch tape on there because it's clear. Um, it is possible to peel the scotch tape off if you're careful, but it doesn't always come off without tearing the vinyl. Okay, so that is uh, two methods to get that off. Now, this thing. So we were really excited about having a die cut for the Degenderates um, promotional stickers, but as it is, um, die cuts are really susceptible to tearing um, at these interior corners, and since it's eggshell vinyl, we kind of bit off a little bit more than we should have um, doing that, but I'm going to show you how you can uh, still peel these entire stickers off and use them pretty quickly if you're crafty. So first off, if I was to try to um, use this tape method on these, you'll see that the sticker, no matter what I do, is going to just start tearing at these interior corners. I'm going to pull the head off and everything like that. Um, but with the knife method, if we start in the middle and we peel out, we'll be able to get the entire sticker peel off the backing paper. I didn't quite slice deep enough. Uh, there we go. And then it doesn't matter that it's got interior corners everywhere. The entire sticker comes off in one piece. So that's that. Thanks again for helping to save the world, and we hope that you have a lot of fun putting those stickers up. Um, if you weren't a Kickstarter backer, but you still want some of those stickers, we are going to be listing all of those stickers for individual sale at Degenderettes.com in just a second. Um, speaking of, we are also now painting these um, Pride Flag baseball bats and Little League bats in all different colors, as well as Trans Dyke Labrises. So new shit coming out every week.